police say was caught on camera exposing himself outside a busy indie salon is no longer facing charges. We first told you about this case back in June. Tonight, CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik sat down with the salon owner and shares her frustrations and her message to other local women. It was back in June when the owner of Indy Main Salon caught a man exposing himself right outside her window when she was with a client. It was a frightening moment at the time, but she's even more frustrated now because charges have been dismissed. It was quite a shocking experience to do, be doing someone's hair at 5 p.m. and see that happening. Salon owner Belinda Benham says she was doing a client's hair when she saw something odd in the corner of her eye. Her cameras caught it too, a man exposing himself right outside the window. While we've blurred the video, he could also be seen touching himself at times. So for a man to be doing something of that nature on my salon patio on Virginia at 5 p.m. on a very busy like thoroughway was very disturbing to me. Belinda filed a police report. She also posted on social media where she then received several messages from other women claiming the same man had done the exact same thing to them. Police arrested the man they say was responsible and he was charged with public nudity. Six months later, the case was dismissed. So. I can't help but feel a little frustrated about that. According to the Marion County prosecutor, the man entered a pretrial diversion program, which is why the charges were dropped. There are some statutes that have to be complied with, but generally it looks a lot like probation, except you do not have to have a conviction entered on your record and your case ends up getting dismissed. Attorney John Tompkins, who isn't affiliated with this case, says pretrial diversions also usually come with a fee. But Belinda says she's still disappointed, especially since others also claim they've had similar run-ins with the same man. That's why she encourages other women to never be ashamed to report it. In Fletcher Place, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Please